Although PayPal is a company that offers many payment services, the most common use on eBay is to send and receive money in connection with an eBay transaction. eBay users can send and receive money for virtually anything to anyone anywhere in the world, but we'll be setting up our PayPal account to use with our eBay user ID and our eBay sales. Don't get too confused by all the options on the site. You can explore those later after you've had a chance to become more familiar with all of PayPal's various uses. Because PayPal is a website, the interface and the menu options may change from time to time. Be sure you keep that in mind when you're registering for the first time because our screen may look slightly different than the one that you're presented with when you go to the PayPal site. But the options will remain the same. To get registered on PayPal, go to paypal.com and where you see New to PayPal, click on the Sign Up button. Select the type of account and in this case we'll be setting up a Premier account because we'll be buying and selling on eBay, not just buying, so we'll need to use either a Premier or a business account to do so. For individual sellers, we use a Premier account. Click on Get Started. Then you enter your email address and select a password and fill in your information. Be sure to use a secure password that's easy to remember, but that's hard to guess. Then enter your name, then enter your date of birth, and your address, and put in your phone number. Go ahead and take a moment to review the user agreement and privacy policy if you wish, and then click on Agree and Create Account. You'll be asked how you would like to pay for your purchases. Even though we'll be selling, I recommend you add a bank account at this point because you'll want to be able to transfer your PayPal payments from your buyers into your checking account directly. You can always add a debit or a credit card so that if you decide to buy something online, you can select that card for your method of payment. Under the section that says Pay with my bank account, click Continue. Fill in the required information, which includes your bank name, the type of account, then the routing number, and then the account number. Re-enter the account number for accuracy, then click Continue. PayPal will want to confirm that your bank account actually belongs to you. So you'll be presented with a screen that allows you to confirm your online banking identification at your bank. And you can go ahead and fill in the user ID and the password that you use at your bank's website. This information will not be stored. It's just a quick and easy way to become confirmed on PayPal instantly. The other option would be to confirm your account through two very small deposits that will be put into your bank account. PayPal will deposit that money into your bank, and then you can go to your online banking and verify the amounts of those two small deposits and confirm them with PayPal later. Either way, you'll need to provide some proof of your identity that this bank account belongs to you so that you can start linking this bank account to your PayPal account. This is for security purposes. Now that you've confirmed your banking information with PayPal, you're ready to use this new PayPal account. You'll also receive an email from PayPal asking you to activate your newly created PayPal account. Go to the email and click on the Activate My Account link. Once you're verified, you can log in to your PayPal account and choose your security questions. These security questions are used in order to provide some security on your account in case you lose your password or you're speaking to PayPal customer service. You're also presented with the option to add a credit or a debit card to your PayPal account and we're going to go ahead and do that and set it up right now. By linking this account you'll be able to use this debit card to pay for purchases that you make on eBay. Although we'll be selling items in this course and that's the purpose of the course, you also might want to purchase things on eBay and use a debit or credit card to pay for those purchases through PayPal. You'll need to fill in all the information here on the screen, including your debit or credit card number, expiration date, and the CVV number. Put in your billing address. Save it. Then click Continue. Now you can go to your PayPal account and start using it. Once you're verified, you can log into your new PayPal account and browse around and learn more about using it. Because you're just learning how to sell on eBay in this course, we'll let you explore that on your own. If at any time you wish to update account information, add or remove a debit card, a credit card, or checking account, add an additional email address to receive payments, or make any changes to your PayPal profile, you can always click on the profile option in your account and select the appropriate link to change. As a little bit of homework, take some time to explore all of these links in your spare time and learn what they do and how to use this account. 
I also suggest that you take a moment to understand how to add and withdraw funds. This comes in handy when you wish to transfer the money you've received from eBay into your banking account. Since setting up a PayPal business account is virtually the same as in this movie, I don't feel the need to provide another video to show you how to set that up. You already know the ropes. You can simply follow the same instructions as here and add the company information that is requested there, shown on the registration form. Now that you have a PayPal account set up, you're now ready to buy and sell on eBay. You can shop online at any internet website that accepts PayPal, and you can also send and receive money for private and public debts. The really cool thing about PayPal is that you can send a money request to someone who does not even have a PayPal account, and they can pay you via credit card, which is really handy for small business owners who don't want to have an expensive credit card machine or a monthly service charge associated with having that machine.